Okay, so this is the schedule that we have. Um, just wanted to share with you. So first and foremost, just wanted to quickly introduce Youth Promise Plus. Then we'll move on to what we do as a worker ready team um, at Birmingham City Council, and and also Solihull also deal with anyone that lives within the North Solihull or the South Solihull area uh, of, of basically, um, and and also they also deal with independent travel training. So I'll go through a bit, bit more with you in a few minutes. Um, we've got Yasmin from Department for Work and Pension. We're we'll discussing what presenting Kickstart scheme. And again, if you've got any questions, please do put them through to us. Um, I'll cover a bit more about better pathways. Now I know, obviously, nowadays you know mental health is something everyone's talking about because, like I say, a lot of us you know find it very difficult to talk about such an issue. Um, I'm hoping you know we have a great provision in place alongside this Youth Promise Plus. Uh, we'll, we'll give you a bit more information about so if you suffer from anxiety, depression, or any types of mental health issues. Um, we've got colleagues from better pathways. Uh, for clinical roles. Um, and lastly, we've got Chris from Digital Inst. Uh, they've got great programs running to do with the IT aspects of things. Um, again, I'll let him speak about what they have available for you guys. Um, and then lastly, as I said, quick, quick question and answer session. So if we can't answer them as we're going along, we'll try to answer them at the end of the session. Right, very quickly, um, if you haven't used uh, MS Teams in the past, right, just wanted to mention, so if you are using a tablet or a phone, you can just uh, touch it anywhere on the screen. It should come up with a speech bubble on the right hand side. Um, and just like WhatsApp or any other social uh, texting uh, portals, you can text uh, using that service. Um, if a laptop, if you have a laptop, sorry, if around in the middle, you'll get an option with a speech bubble. You can click on that too. Right. Um, I guess the rest of the aspect of it, how you not need this um, because you are on a live event where you can only see us, obviously, but you can just uh, text us on that side. So um, I'll just move to the next slide regarding meeting etiquette. So I mentioned you're welcome to text us seriously anything to do with the presentations or what we're going to be talking about today, but any foul play will lead to dismissal. So Sadia is there. Um, she, she will you know, review the text before what we do constantly as well to answer these text messages. But if there is anything um, that is, like I say, in terms of yeah, into the meet our criteria, you can be dismissed. If you need to leave early, please let us know in the chat box. Um, the YouTube video will be available. We can send the link out to you in a day or so uh, where you can review this whole video again on YouTube, or you can always email us, which I'll give you our email address as well. Um, if you're having technical difficulties and you, want re you need to rejoin, just end the session and then just click on the link again and it should let you join. Um, and as it says, look, interact, interact, interact with us. Okay, so if there's any question that you want to ask us, please do so. How to get in touch? Well, yog at birmingham.gov.uk. This is our email address. You can get in touch with myself or Sadia at the Birmingham Worker team. Um, and we can also pass on any queries that you may have to our partners that will be presenting today as well. Um, the other way to get through to us is through our website, which is www.birmingham.gov.uk forward slash YPP sign up. Right. Before we move on, I just wanted to say I'm sure you know some of you guys um, would like to know how you might be job ready. You don't want to go for training. Um, now, construction is a biggie these days. HS2 are recruiting for fencing installation operatives, fencing installation team leaders and supervisors. I mean, you know, if you've got the CSCS card, please get in touch with us. And if you don't, again, get in touch with us. We can put you in the right place to get that card before the closing date for this, um, this vacancy that I've just advertised uh, today. But we've also got railway traineeship program uh, running as well. Now, this is a lot of it will be virtual, uh, but it's also based over um, just on the other side of town. Um, and then, like I said to yourself, you can actually contact them have a taster session before you think about going into railway traineeship. I know I spoke to Rachel from RMF training. They've got some guaranteed interviews lined up as well for this course. So if you're aged between 19 and 24, um, please get in touch with us and we can put you forward for this traineeship program. Right, the other one I wanted to mention, um, this is a great provision 
for seriously, male or female, because then previous recruitment that I helped with these guys just six months ago, female to go into this sort of industry within construction, within electrical or plumbing sort of apprenticeship schemes. Um, so if you've got maths, GCSE, um, English and science, so grade four or above, and you're 18 years or over again for health and safety reasons, please get in touch with us. Again, as you can see, this does have a long uh, closing date. So if you've got any questions and if you need to work through the application form or your CV, we can help you to get all this done before we put you forward for this vacancy. It's a great opportunity, seriously. It can, they will also pay for your graduate screen as well if you're interested in this provision. So, you know, you will not come out with the debt to get a degree and as well as qualification and skills as well working in this sort of aspect. So, yeah, this is a great opportunity. Just quickly, I know that DWP will be speaking about a uh, Kickstart scheme that they've got available. Birmingham Adult Education Service is also uh, delivering programs on Kickstart scheme. Um, so again, for anyone between the age of 16 to 24 for this one. Um, so if you're interested, we've got business and admin and customer service coming up in May. In July, we've got the green sector future parks. So if you're interested in working, you know, in, in I don't know, in, in the green sector of whether it's parks, whether any sort of horticultural aspect, you can get in touch with, with us. And in September, we've got the construction course as well to go with this. Right, just quickly, if you need to get in touch with Birmingham Adult Education Service, they've got many other provisions running um, through this great program or great service. And here's the details for you. So 0121 303 4318 or www.learnbaes at ac, sorry, .ac .uk. Very quickly, uh, Youth Promise Plus, Birmingham uh, Work Ready Team, what do we do? Well, if you feel as though you're job ready and you just need your CV tweaking a little bit, we can help you with this. Now, with Youth Promise Plus, you will not get so many provisions or so many opportunities available to you under one umbrella. OK, so if you're a school leaver from the age of 15 to the age of 29, so day before your 30th birthday, we can help you to become job ready. Or if you feel you're job ready, we can help you to get into work or even training. Right. So first and foremost, like I say, health and other personal support. We can provide you with one to one uh, support by creating an action plan and reviewing this on a regular basis. There's travel and other expenses that's available as well, which we can provide for you. Uh, this is through the National Express uh, day savers that we've got available um, that can be posted or we can visit you, obviously taking risk, anal risk analysis in place with the social distancing um, uh, aspects of things. We can come and visit you and hand it over to you directly too. Helping uh, with building confidence, um, coaching and mentoring, all these things we can cover, like I say to you, um, under this one umbrella. I just mentioned about apprenticeship and training. Uh, we've got that covered too for you, you know. So, you know, uh, get in touch with us uh, if you feel that you're job ready with the CV or and, and we can discuss this on a one-to-one -one basis. Um, gaining skills and qualifications. There's other partners that are coming on board just in, in a little while to talk about what opportunities they've got available. But if you feel that we haven't covered, get in touch with us and we will tell you what we've got available. We can even signpost you towards one of the colleges or one of our partners who can help you. Right. Just wanted to say, if you're still about staying safe, uh, going out there to work or even to travel on public transport, we can go through this with you virtually at this time. Um, and, and then obviously, if you feel as though you know, you, you, you're not ready for interviews, a lot of employers are doing virtual interviews, just like we're trying to get in touch with you like this today through Zoom or MS Teams portal and many other portals that they might have in-house spaces, but it's all the same, you know. We can go through some um, mark interviews with yourself virtually at your job. Let me quickly mention about independent training beyond this social, um, sorry, with this pandemic at this current moment, and a lot of you guys might be concerned. Our colleagues in Solihull, um, they offer independent travel training for anyone living in Birmingham or Solihull area. They usually, well, before pandemic, they used to come out to you, they used to take you on the bus um, uh, and, and obviously take you through certain routes that you might think you, know, you want to work in certain areas or even to pop into town and back to your house again. But right now, they will do this, obviously the route mapping, they will do this on a one-to-one -one basis using virtual uh, online, obviously, uh, resources. These are the guys from Sony Hall. Just wanted to mention that some of you guys just wanted to introduce. So Amber, Anna, Sarah or Vicky, 
And there is another colleague, Saeed, who goes out to uh, look for vacancies for you guys as well. So not only do they do the independent travel training, they also work on Youth Promise Plus, trying to help the guys that are from the Solihull area to get into employment or training itself. Just quickly, uh, again, yog at birmingham.gov.uk for that email address. I'm sure Sadia will put this in our chat box as well. Uh, and the website is www.birmingham.gov.uk forward slash YPP sign up. Um, hi, Yasmin, are you there? Hi, good afternoon. Yes, I am. Thank you. Sorry, if you give me one second, I'll try to put you on there for you. Take over, Yasmin. Thank you. Right then, thank, thanks, Abdul. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Yasmin Khan and I work for the Department for Work and Pension as a Kickstart Employer Advisor Lead. Um, in today's session, I'd just like to provide you with a brief update regarding the Kickstart scheme. Um, Kickstart is a six month paid job with a local employer, which is funded by the government. It will provide fully funded opportunities for you to get experience of working for an employer. The details of the Kickstart scheme was announced last summer and it's expected that this programme will offer thousands of job opportunities to young people over the next few years. And to share the commitment to Kickstart, the government have set aside a £2 billion pot of money to fully fund these positions with businesses and employers across the UK. Jobs from the Kickstart scheme will be open to young people looking for work between the ages of 16 to 24 who are claiming universal credit and could be potentially at risk of long term unemployment. So what I'd like to do is just tell you a little bit about how it works. Um, employers who want to take part in Kickstart will share the details of their job opportunities with the job centre. The work coaches in the job centres will be able to match their customers to these jobs. They will do this either in their work search review appointments, which could be on the phone or in some cases face to face, and also by sending details through the customer's journal. Candidates would then need to apply for the Kickstart opportunities and if successful, will be invited by the employer for a job interview. So it would be like a proper recruitment and selection process. The employer would then select who, would they, who they'd all like to take on into employment. The government will fund these job opportunities for six months at the national minimum wage for 25 hours per week. They will also pay for the associated employer national insurance contributions and any employer minimum automatic enrolment contributions. What we're hoping is that by having this job opportunity it will give young people some really valuable paid work experience in addition to building confidence and skills which will make it possible for young people to move into work when the six months comes to an end. Whilst on the scheme, the employer, or what we call a Kickstart Gateway organisation, would also provide some ongoing support to, young, to a young person by offering support such as mentoring, developing the young person's employability skills, and also by helping the young person to understand the sector they are working in. Anyone who is interested in a job opportunity through Kickstart will need to have a good CV prepared as the employer will want to see this. So it's really important that if you are interested in any Kickstart job roles, that you make sure that your CV is good to go. If you haven't already, I'd recommend that, that you get someone to cast a critical eye over your CV. After all, in many ways, your CV is your passport into work and there might be some changes that you could make to your CV, which could show all your skills, abilities and previous experience in a more positive way. Um, what we're also doing is very working very, very closely with our partners, National Career Service. Um, and what they're actually doing is they're helping DWP and supporting our customers by providing one to one support to improve uh, your chances of securing a kickstart job by preparing the young person for the selection process. So if you need any support to apply for a Kickstart vacancy, including help with completing Kickstart application forms, updating your CV or creating a new one, interview preparation, then please contact your work coach and ask them to book you an interview with National Career Service. 
Um, we've had a lot of feedback from employers over the last couple of months with regards to the quality of the young people's applications that they're receiving. And the CV and covering letter was a really important issue that a lot of employers have raised to say that they don't provide the necessary information that they need to proceed with their application. In addition to supporting customers um, with the Kickstart application process, National Career Service will be offering you support whilst you're on your placement, including mentoring support and any issues that may arise with your placement. And once you've completed the Kickstart um, opportunity, if you don't find yourself going straight into employment, they will offer you post placement support and matching into suitable jobs that they may have with employers they're working with. So if anybody wants to find out or get any more information about Kickstar, please go on to gov.uk or the job help site and you'll be able to see some promotional material there. Just Google uh, gov.uk and put Kickstar in the search box or Google job help, which is one word, and look for the section on help for under 25. So just so to recap and give you some key points again about Kickstar. It's six months paid job opportunity for 16 to 24 year olds, which the government is providing the funding for. You can access these job opportunities if you're claiming universal credit. You'll be referred to them, the vacancies through your work coach, who will be able to talk to you about the range of Kickstarter jobs available and send the details through your online journal. You need to apply for the opportunities and will be invited to attend an interview. It's also worth mentioning that you can apply for more than one job at, at a time. It's expected that the scheme will run until the summer of 2022. So the last six month cohort, cohort would start in December 2021. We've had considerable amount of interest from employers already who are keen to employ young people through Kickstart scheme and they're offering a range of jobs. So keep in contact with your work coach and look out for these new opportunities. I've, I've actually gone through the uh, um, universal credit system today and had a look. We've got opportunities on there at the moment for people who have uh, little or no experience where training can be given. We also have opportunities for graduates and we've got a number of home working positions that are available for, for people who'd like to start, start off working from home. Um, that's about it for me. Um, and if you'd like any more information or more details, please contact your work coach. That's it for me. Thank you, Abdul. I'll hand over back to you. Oh, yes, I mean, thank you very much. You're uh, very welcome. If you've got something else on, it's fine to go and email you the questions if you like. Or, but okay, you're thank to you. As well. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Right, guys. Well, I just wanted to quickly come back to this as well. Obviously, Yasmin mentioned about the great opportunities that are available. Um, I know none of the specifics were mentioned about the vacancies that are available, but it covers everything, seriously. Um, even with our Birmingham City Council, I was discussing with our hierarchies, and they mentioned that um, we are working together to see if we can get the council vacancies that are and opportunities that are available for, you know, people to go into the Kickstart scheme too. Right. Um, just wanted to quickly move on a little bit and introduce you to another opportunity that we've got available through um, at the Better Pathways program that we have with Youth Promise Plus. This will run alongside the provision that we have to support you to get ready to go into work. So they offer approximately 12 weeks worth of support to you know, get you uh, into that little mode of you know, if you've got anxiety, you should depression or any sort of mental health aspect of things. Um, better Pathways have come, come on board recently to see if we can help you. These are experts that have worked, you know, with others in the past. Um, I've even visited their site over in Digbeth, you know, before pandemic, and it's a great opportunity that they're available as well. Um, so seriously, if you feel as a unit to speak to them directly, we can always put you forward uh, on a one-to-one -one basis and they can give you a call back if you don't want to discuss it through ourselves. Okay, so uh, these are the guys that we've got. I just thought, you know, sometime providing names is not enough, um, giving actual visualization of the guys that are working on this project also helps. Um, so I've got Shanice, Monique, Leticia and Steve also. These guys, um, seriously, like I said, they are uh, mental health champions um, and they are experts in their own sort of sector as well, a bit more than what we can do for you guys. So it's 12 weeks, I know, but then it will continue as well. So if you feel as though you need a bit more support from them, they can continue with that 
as we start looking for jobs or even training for you as well. Right. Um, what sort of barriers can they address? Um, obviously, it comes to problem with sleeping, travel training, anxiety, lack of confidence and self-esteem. Um, online learning. I mean, I know a lot of it is all online um, and they can support you as well. So if you feel as though you don't want to go through it on, on, online on, on your own, they can give you a little phone call or even virtual contact with yourself verbally and take you through that. So if you feel as you've got low mood or even mindfulness activities and coping strategies, as I say, I, I used to visit their site before uh, pandemic and they used to have lots of activities from, look, I don't want to put some of you guys up, but they even used to do knitting uh, for guys to, you know, see what through discussions they used to come up with ideas. And, and seriously, it does open up uh, sort of your mind and your sectors as well that you want to go into uh, work. And, and like it's a meeting other people as well in a similar sort of situation over these activities kind of gives you that little boost as well that you're not alone. OK, um, this is the action plan. They will create you know, a little journey for yourself. So they will start with obviously client profile, meaning having a chat with yourself, then discussing on a one to one basis to see what they can do in a bespoke way. Monitoring your well-being to see how you're progressing through the support that they're giving you, obviously reviewing the barriers uh, every once in a while. And, and navigating through the mental health services that they've got available. If they can't help, they can always sign up post you. And as I say, the young person's well-being, you know, how it's improved. As I say, if it doesn't, uh, if you need more support after 12 weeks, we can review this as well for you. I've just mentioned to you, you know, if you feel as though you want to register with us first, start looking for work and you want that support at the same time, we can have a three-way meeting. Um, but if you feel as though you want to speak to them directly, you're more than welcome to. Um, that I was, we were asked a question previously, can you have a family member or a support person with you when you're chatting to them? You're more than welcome, you know, you're more than welcome to have them uh, discussing your personal situation, but obviously you have to be present for Data Protection Act reasons. Right. Again, just quickly, yog at birmingham.gov.uk, that's our contact email, or www.birmingham.gov.uk forward slash YPP sign up. Um, so these are the two ways you can get in touch with us for any queries that you may have. Right, without further ado, I'm going to hopefully introduce you to our colleague from Princess Trust who's working on the Youth Promise Plus and they've got many other opportunities available as well for you. Uh, Trisha, are you there? Hi, yeah, uh, I'm here. I am just going to put you in now if you give me one second. Go on, you can take over, thank you. Thank you very much. Hello, everyone. I hope you are doing well today. Thank you for coming. Um, my name is Tish and I'm a youth worker at the Princess Trust and today I'll be just giving you um, an overview of our upcoming program. So uh, for those of you who don't know who the Princess Trust um, is and is about, uh, we are the, lead, the current leading youth charity in the UK. Uh, we support a lot of young people across the country and uh, we were set up by Prince Charles in 1976, so a little bit of information there. And basically, in a nutshell, we support young people into their desired outcome, whether it be education, employment or training through our, our various programs and one-to-one -one support as well. So, um, I would like to talk to you today about our programs. Next slide, please. Thank you very much. But before moving to that, I thought it would be worth mentioning our coronavirus support hub. So if you have any questions or if you need resources around um, employability skills, building confidence, jobs boards and so on, we can help you with that. So just ensure that you go to our website. You can see our website on the screen or a, a, a good old Google search will do as well. So if you just type on Google, Princess Trust will come up. Next slide, please. Now on to the programs. So one thing that I really want you to know about the trust is that it doesn't matter where you are right now. The Princess Trust has different programs that can cater to your different and specific needs. So if you need, if you need to build confidence at the moment, if you feel like you are not quite work ready, there are a few programs for you. So I'll start off with Virtual Explore. 
Uh, so Virtual Explore is a program in which you can learn about personal development skills and employability skills twice a week because we deliver two sessions a week. The next access um, session is this Friday, the 23rd at 2 p.m. and you will be delivered via Microsoft Teams. OK, so if you logged on to the call today, you'll be able to do the same this Friday. So uh, the sessions run up to a month and they tend to be a little bit cyclical. So if you feel like, oh, this day, imagine a Tuesday, I cannot attend the session. You can always attend the session in a month from then and you receive one to one support throughout and after the program, which is really important because sometimes young people feel like they don't want to discuss certain aspects of their lives or doubts in front of a group. So when you have that one to one, you can always have these type of discussions. Then we've got get started programs as well, which are always very exciting because these programs is for you uh, are for you to try something different and then receive the Princess Trust one to one support afterwards to help you move into your desired outcome. So we've got coming up, get started with podcasting. So if you are interested in communication or even just want to put yourself out there, just get out of your comfort zone for a bit, just come and try it, okay? No previous knowledge is necessary or required for any of our programs. We just want committed and enthusiastic young people who want to turn their lives around. So just come and try this one out. This program, the podcasting program starts next week on the 26th of April and it runs until the 30th, so a five day program. Then we've got Get Started with the Wildlife Trust and I'm very excited to announce this program which is coming up at the end of May because this one won't be um, virtual solely. It will be a mixture of uh, virtual and in-person delivery which is great. This program is for young people who are interested in nature conservation or want to work outdoors. So just come on, try, meet other young people who like to do the same as you and it should all be great and fine. And last but not least, in terms of um, programs for young people who are still figuring out their next steps, we've got a team program. Uh, this program has been with the trust for a little over 30 years now because it is that effective into moving young people into education, employment or training. So this program runs for 12 weeks, uh, i.e. three months and you meet new young people, you take part in a community project, you can help get help with maths and English if you need that. So uh, it's a very, a very complete program in which you get one to one support as well once again. Uh, so uh, whatever you need, you can get within that program. Uh, now moving on for young people who might feel they are a little bit more work ready, we've got um, our um, health and social care sector session section here at the trust as well. So we've got the getting to hospital services program first. So this program runs for eight weeks and this is for young people who are interested in clinical roles, okay? And it's usually held at a UHB or University Hospital of Birmingham. And you get three qualifications. So one in infection control, um, first aid and team building, which is great within eight weeks. Uh, the upshot about this program is that you receive, uh, you receive a list of live vacancies so you can apply for live vacancies and we won't ever throw you in the deep end. We'll give you that help to apply for those jobs. So you receive CV support, cover letter support, application form support, anything you need to apply for the vacancies you want. And then we've got another program, which is a shorter program and it's called Get Started in Health and Social Care in which basically you receive help into getting a job in the care sector. OK, so it's just a three day program. And if you want to work in care, you can apply for live vacancies and do a mock interview with us as well. And last but not least, in terms of health and social care, if you are still a minor, but you feel like I want to work in health and social care, but I cannot go on the programs just yet because 
these programs are for young people who are 18, over 18, uh, you can do the mentoring first and we help you achieve your goals while you're waiting to go on a program. Or maybe we might refer you to an external organization in which you can start a course as well. Um, and then we've got the enterprise program as well for young people who are interested in starting their own business. So if you have anything uh, business related in mind, if you want to be your own boss, the enterprise program is for you. We've got information sessions every Thursday at 2 p.m. on Microsoft Teams. So just give us a call and we are more than happy to book you on. In regards to the information session on the enterprise program, no strings attached whatsoever. You just come to hear about what we've got to offer and then you can let us know if you're ready to take that commitment. Um, and then uh, for young people who are interested in technology, I'm happy to announce that we've got uh, the Google IT support certificate course starting at the end of May. So if you can commit for three months, uh, this program is for you and if you're interested in technology as well. So um, at the end, you receive a certificate that in the in the real world per se is worth 214 pounds, but with the trust, you get it for free, which is great. So if you're interested in technology, want to try this out, just give us a call. So I have told you about all of our upcoming programs for both April and May. So if you are interested in any, get in touch with us on our, um, and you can give us a call on our customer service number. So I'll, I'll tell it to you guys now. So it's 0800842842. I'll repeat that. So it's 08 zero zero eight four two eight four two and uh yeah they will book you on a welcome session and one of us one of the youth workers will give you a call and refer you to the suitable program okay so yeah thank you very much for listening i know this can be a lot to take in but i hope you could uh, get an idea of the programs you've got to offer thank you thank you Trish. thank um, you Love the background, by the way. Uh, I'm hoping <laughs> we're going to start with on the library scene as well. So, you know, it reminds me of just going out to the library, then it's great. No, thank you. Seriously, thank you've got you. some great opportunities there. Guys, seriously, I, look, I can't say more about what Princess Trust have to offer at this current moment, you know. Um, just going along quickly with this as well, um, Trish did mention about the clinical roles. We've got Peter Forsland, who works at the University Hospital Hub, the Learning Hub. Um, that's just past Celio, where the Birmingham University is, if some of you guys know it. Um, Right. So again, you know, they do have some great programs running for you guys to get onto um, to get those that experience really within the you know key workers role as a clinical role within hospitals. Um, if you feel as though that is a bit of a distance for you to travel, they also have um, training running from the uh, Heartlands Hospital, which is near Bordesley Green, small East area. I'm not sure if you're familiar with that. Right. So um, I'm just going to introduce you to Chris. Uh, he'll be talking about digital innovators. And and like I said, they've got again some great provision running. So I'm just going to be hi, Chris. You there? Hi, Abdul. Thanks for uh, having me. Um, yeah, hi everyone. Uh, I'm Chris Kennedy. Uh, I'm uh, from Digital Innovators. I'm a junior project manager apprentice, uh, and essentially I'm here today uh, to talk to you about Digital Innovators. Um, <clears throat> so we are a skills program, a skills provider. Uh, we're running a skills program with the WMCA, um, and essentially what our company does is help young people uh, to start their careers, um, build their confidence, um, and give them the relevant skills and also industry experience with actual local employ employers um, that they need. Uh, can we have the? Uh, can we skip the next slide and go on to the other one, please, Apple? <laughs> Thanks. So yeah, we'll just go to the next one. Perfect. Um, <clears throat> so who are we? Um, so we're a West Midlands based training provider. Uh, we were founded in 2016 by Mick Westman, <clears throat> uh, a former director at B British Telecom. Uh, and essentially what Mick found was that uh, when he was uh, interviewing uh, candidates um, for employment, as well as talking to many local employers, uh, employers would come to him and say that, yes, all of the people that we have, uh, you know, have the relevant grades uh, and qualifications they need from college or uni. Um, but what they found was that they didn't have key things like um, communication skills, uh, confidence, um, interpersonal skills and and different things that really help in the workplace that maybe 
you know, normal education uh, sort of sectors don't really teach. Um, <clears throat> so uh, essentially, uh, we teach the skills that employers have told us that they want. Uh, can we just check the next slide, please? Um, so, for example, here are the three skills that employers tell us uh, every single time we speak to them they, that they want. So the first one is technical qualifications. Now, that can be achieved through an apprenticeship. Uh, it can be achieved through going to you know, college or, or university or anything like that. Um, but the main two that they look for are uh, relevant experience. So, you know, experience in the working world, be it, you know, uh, experience in maybe working in a shop or even just experience uh, working, at, uh, you know, somewhere similar to them. And they also want interpersonal skills. So they want, you know, they want you to be able to, to communicate very confidently over, um, you know, presentations, uh, things, you know, similarly to how I'm doing now. <laughs> um, can we just quickly check the next slide, please? <clears throat> um, so like I mentioned earlier, we ask all of our employers what skills they want to see in our students. Um, and essentially what we got out of that were four things. So the first one is collaboration. Um, so collaboration is a big part in the workplace. I mean, you know, everyone has to work in a team usually. Um, it, it's a huge thing, especially working on big projects. Um, the second thing is creativity. Um, so again, a big part of any company, uh, be it small or big, is that they need creativity to bring, uh, to come up with ideas on how to solve problems. Uh, the third thing is communication. Obviously, without communication, you can't really work on anything. Um, you need to talk and communicate what you want doing as well as what, you know, uh, you need to also sort of receive that communication and get what people want you to do. Uh, and then the fourth thing is critical thinking or problem solving. So, you know, all of these things we teach here at Digital Innovators um, and we think they're really important. Uh, can we just get to the next slide, please? <clears throat> Thank you. Um, so how our program works is uh, we are running for about 12 or 13 weeks. Um, the first four weeks of that course um, are essentially the, the skills provider uh, weeks. So what happens is we train you in all of the skills that I mentioned before, as well as things like uh, CV writing, um, confidence building, presentation skills, communication skills, and all of these, all of these things are taught um, online. Uh, but at the same time, it's very hands on. So, you know, you may be sitting in front of a screen, but you're not listening to someone talk for a good couple hours. Uh, we give you regular breaks. Um, we we like to work with a lot of software um, and a lot of um, sort of hands on games as well, um, which I think, you know, you'll come to experience if you uh, do any research into the course. Uh, now, after that four weeks of um, skills training, essentially, uh, a big part of our course is the uh, the second part of those uh, weeks, uh, which is actually going and working with an employer. So what happens is uh, you're given a project um, from an employer. Uh, we work with a range of employers from the NHS to BNP Paribas, the banking company. Um, we work with engineering firms, uh, just just National Grid. Uh, we you know you name it, and, and half the time we work with it. I have a, a massive list of uh, employers, but essentially you work with a dedicated employer who's there to help you. And what happens is they give you a project that they need doing that is physical and uh, completely real. So, you know, you, this isn't a, a sort of um, a concept that you're given that, you know, may be, uh, you know, used for training in the future or something like that. This is an actual problem that the company is facing that you're given and, uh, you know, they're relying on you. So it's, it's a huge thing to be able to put on your CV, to talk about in interviews, and as well, I mean, alongside uh, the actual training course at the start, um, you're given all of this time to learn the skills whilst also doing the actual uh, work for it. Um, can we quickly go to the next slide, please? Um, so, yeah, on screen right now are a few reasons uh, why you should join our program, why we think you should join our program. I won't go through, <clears throat> I won't go through them all, um, but the main key ones are that you get eight weeks of, of actual work experience. So this isn't, you know, going to a workplace and, and photocopying things and making tea and coffee. This is work experience working on an actual live project that will be used by the employer. Um, I'll give a quick example. Uh, we had a project with the NHS where they wanted to uh, deliver a uh, 360 virtual reality um, training course for their nurses on how to uh, intubate patients and things like that. Um, and so, uh, you know, we got people on our program 
to work on that and they actually have been using that now so you know a thing that our um, students if you want to say uh, have been working on uh, the NHS is now trying to put into place over Heartlands and Good Hope and things like that um, so that's a big big part of it um, the other part is that you get 105 hours of skills training with experienced business leaders so uh, I'll talk about this a bit more um, <clears throat> essentially the training uh, the training portion of the course the first four weeks is really important because uh, you're not just trained by people uh, who are like teachers or tutors they're more like mentors so they're people from all of these different business backgrounds you get marketing people cloud engineers um, you get uh, you know c-suite people so uh, directors and CEOs um, you know very high up business people that are there to teach you what they know rather than what they think you should know um, <clears throat> So uh, another thing as well, um, a big thing is that we have quite a few resources to our um, disposal. So we have uh, a lot of um, IT programming uh, courses. We have courses on uh, uh, many different things. Um, and yeah, just uh, I won't list them all off, but um, yeah, I think they're really important points on why you should join our program. Um, <clears throat> so uh, here's a few quotes from our students. Um, I am actually an ex-student of Digital Innovators, so I worked, uh, I actually uh, worked with Digital Innovators back when I was a student for around two years. And I worked on a project called the, uh, uh, the Classroom of the Future. So an employer came to us and said, what do you think, uh, you know, would, uh, what do you think a classroom of the future would look like? And they asked us to start planning and designing what we think this would look like so they could use it in, uh, you know, schools and things. Um, now, we thought at first this was very vague, but what we actually found out afterwards that was because it was very vague, we actually got to, you know, move around a lot and, and sort of choose exactly what we wanted to do and what we thought was right. Um, to cut a long story short, we made the classroom of the future for them. And what we decided on was that uh, a big key point of it was to try and work around students who maybe couldn't get into, you know, a college or university environment because they were either maybe had disabilities that stopped them from getting there. Um, they were maybe young carers, so caring for their family members and they couldn't, you know, get into the college or, or university every day. Um, and, you know, using things like VR and different pieces of software and, and team calls like this, uh, we thought that it'd be great to sort of include them into the classroom environment and not, you know, exclude them. Um, right now, I mean, this this was around about two years ago. Right now, a lot of the team call stuff sounds, you know, very familiar considering we've been doing it for, you know, a good year now. But back then, you know, hardly anyone used it. Um, but yeah, uh, we actually got to present our idea in front of uh, very high up business people at the Excel Centre in London, which was a, an incredible experience that I, I wouldn't have gotten if I hadn't have joined Digital Innovators. Um, and yeah, it was just a very incredible experience for me. Uh, also, it's built my confidence a lot. I, I, I could hardly speak to, you know, people I didn't know before, let alone just speaking like this, uh, you know, in front of an audience. And it's just been great. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, uh, just a few key things to note before I talk to you guys about dates. Um, so if you are on uh, universal credit, uh, you can continue doing this course and continue receiving universal credit. Um, and as well, this course is completely free. The only thing that we ask uh, for is a stable internet connection, be it uh, mobile data, be it, uh, you know, uh, Wi-Fi or anything like that. Um, you can do this course on a phone, on a laptop, on a computer, whatever you want. Um, so really quickly, um, so the, uh, the next two dates for the course starting uh, is the 26th of April. Um, so that's next week. Um, however, that's quite soon. So the next one is also the 31st of May. Um, and essentially uh, these courses, as I said, last for around 12 or 13 weeks um, with the portion that I told you at the start about the training point and also working with actual employers. Um, we can go to the next slide, please. Thanks, Abdul. Um, <clears throat> so on the 22nd of April, which is on Thursday, I think, <laughs> if I've got my uh, weeks right, my days are right, um, we're running a taster session. Um, I really, really recommend you guys come to this. Uh, it's it's not long at all. And essentially, it's, it's to show you guys really quickly uh, what we're about and how we work. So uh, in the skills in the skills uh, training session, you're actually going to be uh, making coffee. Um, I'll leave it at that, you know, to sort of get your intrigue. Uh, it sounds very strange, but we're not normal here at Digital Innovators. We like to do things different because different is good and it sticks with you and you remember it. Um, so, yeah, if you guys can come along on the 22nd of April, we're doing a taste of day. It's going to be great. 
Uh, and yeah, if you guys have any questions, uh, let me know. And uh, yeah, great. Thanks, Abdul. Uh, just just really quickly, sorry, we're on all socials. And uh, if you go to our website, you can sign up for the uh, sign up for the course. Uh, it's, it's easy. It takes around two or three minutes. But yeah, great. Thanks, Abdul. All right, thank you, Chris. That is, like I said, we've got some great opportunities there for you guys. Um, well, that was the last of our opportunities from our partners, but every week we do have, um, you know, new and obviously you know, innovative ideas that come through our partners and they try to offer these opportunities to you guys in return. So, as I say, get in touch with us through the um, your, uh, email address as well as our website that we've given you. I'm hoping if Sadia is on right now, we've got some questions. Uh, Sadia, have we got anything at all today? It didn't look so interactive today. I didn't see much come through. So, hi Abdul. Um, uh, thank you to our partners for coming on and doing such a good session. Um, we have had a, a few um, people attend today, um, but as usual, um, I think some of the questions we've had before. So, if anybody. Uh, if we don't answer them today, it's because they are already they've already been answered. So you can just go onto our YouTube channel and just listen back um, because they have already been answered there. But we did have a really good one, which I wanted to put to Trish, um, which was somebody's just sorry email through and they're asking if you're on Universal Credit but you work part time, um, can they still access the Prince's Trust courses, or do you have to be um, completely neat? Uh, thank you so much for asking this question. It's quite common. So no, you don't need to be completely neat. But uh, here at the Prince, to be Prince is Trust eligible, you need to be in education less for less than 14 hours, or you need to be working less for 16 hours a week. Okay, so the cap for education is 14 hours, and for work is 16 hours. I hope that helps and you receiving benefits doesn't affect your uh, eligibility. OK, it's totally fine. That's great, thank you. Um, and we've got one question which is for Chris um, and someone has just asked um, mm. the courses that you that you've mentioned, are they full time or can they be done part time as well? Um, so they are full time. Um, however, they are only for around about 12 weeks. Um, it isn't a, uh, I should have mentioned this actually during, uh, it isn't a nine to five thing, but usually it lasts around five, maybe six hours a day. So, yeah. Okay. That's great. Thank you for that, Chris. Um, Abdul, we don't have any other questions for today's session. Oh, perfect. Right. Um, well, I'm hoping you guys have taken a lot away from today. Um, and like I said, the video will be available for you to view in a day or so. We'll put the link out there as well. So just send, just send us an email. Uh, the other important thing I wanted to say, please, please, please complete that survey that's going to come straight after this. Uh, my colleague Marie will send this out to you guys. Um, so if you can complete this for us, so obviously we can improve on the services that we provide to others that will be joining these sessions in the future. Now, thank you very much for everyone for joining us today. Uh, and I'm hoping you've taken a lot away, especially those vacancies with Imtech. Electri electrician, sorry, and plumbing, uh, please get in touch with us for those as well. Thank you.